Hey you guys, what are y'all cooking for dinner tonight? I thought I would share with you real quick. I did just now go over on Instagram stories and share that I was heating up some leftover chili that I had made for the week. And we're gonna have chili tonight, but then we're going to have it with some corn on the cob. Sorry about that, I had to get that out of the way. All right, so I, pull, I bought this big thing of corn on the cob at Costco and we're not going to need all this for one meal and I want to help our budget a little bit whenever I shop so I'll buy bulk sometimes from Costco and um, freeze whatever I know that we're not going to use and for corn on the cob especially I know not everybody's going to eat a full ear of corn so I broke them in half I'm breaking them in half and uh, putting them in the bag I'm going to take these uh, halves that I've already broken and I'm going to, I take, I took some butter, okay, I got some butter, I got Kerrygold, you can get it bulk at Costco too, um, and save it up, it does freeze okay and you can frost, uh, defrost it or thaw it out, yeah, thaw it out <laughs> for like baking and stuff. But, um, but the, you know, I try to keep one on hand in the fridge. So then um, once that uh, butter, I got the butter and I just melted it down. And I'm going to brush this on my corn on the cob, which is going to go over on my little broiler plat, plate. Hey, babe, I see you watching. Is she out yet? He's, he's running errands. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to put it down there. I'm going to brush it with the butter. And then I'm just going to salt, uh, put some uh, salt and pepper, maybe some garlic powder on a couple of them, and that's going to be it for me. Now, I um, have heard of a yummy addition to that to accessorize it with, with some um, lime juice, and I'm considering actually doing it because we just so happen to have a lime on hand to see how good it really is because I don't think I've ever tried that, and that sounds like a neat, like a neat trick. So I'm going to brush it with the butter. I'm going to season it up, and then I'm going to put it in the oven um, with the broiler on, and just for about five, six minutes, and you turn it um, so it browns, starts to brown a little bit all the way around, but um, it's only, it's going to be really, really quick. It's not going to take long at all, so I waited until my chili has now been completely heated through, and I'm going to do this for about five, five minutes. And hopefully my husband will be home soon with my daughter. And so as soon as it comes out of the oven, I'm going to squeeze it with the lime and we are going to get to chowing down. Now, um, this, uh, the, there, it, there are some vegetables in my chili and y'all know I like to make sure that my dinners have more vegetables, um, and about, and maybe a quarter of the plate protein, but I like the majority of my plate to be vegetables. So Corn, technically, is uh, going to have more of a carb content than um, that and not really count as a vegetable for me. So what I'm going to do to make sure that I still have veggies most is I'm going to have some salad greens. And I'm either going to fill up most of my plate with that and next to my corn on the cob, or I'm going to go ahead and make a chili salad bowl where I put the greens at the bottom of my bowl and I pour some chili on it. And then um, I'll just put some plain Greek yogurt, which would be like a sour cream for me, maybe a little shredded cheese if I feel like it, and um, go ahead and top it with jalapenos, whatever, and eat it like a salad where my chili and my Greek yogurt is more of my dressing. So that's a little trick that I learned whenever I was working in the restaurants, and we actually had that as a dish. It was pretty good, actually. So anyway... If you have, this is, if you have any other kind of like neat little tricks that you season up your corn on the cob with, I would love to hear it because this is really, I keep it real basic and simple. This is the only way that I've ever really done it. But um, I'm interested in hearing new and exciting ways, but uh, I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven and get done for the night. Talk to you guys later. Bye.